we really want to focus on end range hip flexor strength. And so therefore, people start at various stages and it might not be a focus for everyone, but as you will see here, we'll talk you through a series of progressions uh, which can help. Muscle group and function, we can look at Sinead here, bring her range, her hip, manually into inner range hip flexion while maintaining an extended position on the stance leg and look at her ability to maintain inner range hip flexion as she lets go. As you can see, she can't maintain active equals passive hip flexion. Also, if we ask you where she feels the muscle recruitment, you can see that she recruits laterally through her TFL. So she's unable to maintain that inner range hip flexion, but also she's preferentially recruiting her more superficial uh, and lateral hip flexor muscle groups. The relationship of this and athletic groin pain is twofold. Number one is the preferential recruitment of the more superficial muscles that can lead to symptom development, whether that's the adductor longus, sartorius, rec fem, or tensor fasciae latae. Or in addition, the creation or retention of maladaptive patterns, especially during running mechanics, that see excessive rotation uh, during swing leg recovery and kicking, leading to overload of the abdominal muscle groups. The entry level exercise for the hip flexion stream is hip flexion supported against the wall. We stand with our lumbar spine, support against the wall and the stance leg completely straight, manually using our hands to come up into inner range hip flexion with a little bit of external hip rotation to bias the iliopsoas group. As we slowly let go, we want to feel the burn of the iliopsoas across the hip as demonstrated. Common errors include, as we let go of the knee, that it drops excessively out of inner range hip flexion, that as we let go, we tend to trunk sway to the side to compensate, or alternatively flex the stance leg to compensate as well. So to review, we want to maintain an extended stance knee with our lumbar spine supported against the wall, and maintain that inner range hip flexion as we gently let go.